hello everyone in this session we will discuss some more problems some more important problems regarding the induction motor here look at the problem a problem is a 6 pole 50 h wound rotor induction motor when supplied at rated voltage and frequency with slip rings open circuited to develop a voltage of 100 volts between any two rings that means we have a stator so just i am assuming this is the stator and this is the rotor the shaded part is the rotor rotor is generally connected to a shaft and the slip rings we have a slip rings from the slip rings we are connecting to a some a resistance so generally we have the three types three slip rings we have so generally we have the three slip rings you know how the arrangement is there yeah, yes but these slip rings are open the slip rings are open that means this is open these are the open slip rings okay yeah open circuited and he given supply that is for the stator the supply is given to always the stator that is 50 hedge supply All right and it will generate and it will rotates and develop a voltage 100 volts between any two rings so this is the between two slip rings this is the development of 100 volts under the same conditions if the rotor is now driven by the external means so in these conditions if the rotor is has with some other condition the first condition is 1000 rpm opposite to the direction of the rotation of the stator field for example stator field is so so we will conclude that so before that just we analyze what are the given data first so given data he mentioned the six pole machine and the frequency is the 50 hertz okay so we can find out stator rotating magnetic field stator magnetic field or stator flux that is the speed of the stator flux the speed of the stator flux is just write it speed of stator rotating magnetic field that value is represents with ns the formula is 120 f by p here the 120 is there the frequency is 50 is there and the 6 is there the ns value will become the 1000 rpm so stator rotates with the 1000 rpm yes we get the stator point here what is the first point is the question is it will develop 100 volts so we have a some relation for the induced emfs in the slip rings the relation is the induced emf in rotor the induced emf in rotor because rotor only it will induce for the stator we are giving the excitation rotor circuit rotor circuit is generally it is like this this is e2 we can take it as a e2 it will be slip times of e to naught slip times of e to naught so it is whenever it is in e to naught means running condition it is in running condition e to naught means e to naught e is nothing but it is the standstill position it is nothing but the standstill position the standstill position emf multiply with slip times then we will get the running emf or running emf okay this is the condition so what is the first condition he mentioned there he mentioned the first condition as the rotor is rotates look at the first condition the um, external means the 1000 rpm opposite to the direction of the state or magnetic field just take it just take it the it is rotates with the synchronous speed this is the stator rotating magnetic field with the synchronous speed and he mentioned he mentioned the case the case is 
thousand rpm opposite to the direction of so it is opposite for example this is opposite of the direction of the rotating magnetic field so this is the rota rotation this is nothing but the rota rotation thousand rpm direction of the rotation of the rotor wheel this is the with the thousand rpm with the thousand rpm if the rotor opposite direction of the thousand rpm what is emf we should find out the what is emf okay for this case he mentioned clearly both are in opposite directions okay the question is as rotor opposite to opposite to stator field stator field rotor rotates okay then what is the relative speed generally relative speed both are in opposite direction the relative speed we can write generally ns minus nr here ns you know the thousand and minus but opposite opposite means we will get again minus thousand then the relative speed will become the 2000 rpm relative speed will become the 2000 rpm for this relative speed what is the slip now next step is we should find out the slip the slip value equaled ns minus nr by the ns so this is ns minus nr the relative speed is we know that this is the thousand and the synchronous speed is then you will get the thousand the slip is two what is the condition what is the question the question is just under the condition find the voltage available between the slip rings and frequency so we should find out the voltage so for this case the voltage developed in the rotor winding is nothing but slip times of standstill voltage so he given the standstill voltage he mentioned already 100 volts he mentioned the standstill voltage 100 volts that is voltage developed between the two slip rings the slip is 2 slip is 2 the voltage is 2 then the voltage developed in the voltage is the 200 volts so for this condition the voltage developed is the 200 volts okay what is the second case the second case is look at the second case here 1500 rpm in the direction of rotation of the stator field so in the second case so this is the rotor this is the rotor generally and we have the stator we have the stator yeah this is the stator so for the stator you know stator is for example rotates with the 1000 rpm this is the synchronous speed if what if the rotor if the rotor he mentioned opposite type so both both are in the same direction rotor rotates with the same direction with the speed of some nr we don't know what is the speed but he mentioned the speed look at the speed is there 1500 rpm direction rotation same direction so for the same direction it rotates with the 1500 rpm and you know the stator field synchronous speed is the 1000 rpm 1000 rpm so now what is the relative speed the relative speed speed between two things here ns minus nr so what is ns there ns is we have the 1000 rpm and the nr is the 1500 rpm then the relative speed we have the minus 500 rpm minus 500 rpm so by using this we can find out the slip value here what is the slip so we can find out here the slip value is ns minus nr by ns is the formula so i am writing here the slip value equaled ns minus nr by ns 
NS minus NR already we find out that is minus 500 the slip is the 1000 finally we will get minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 from this we can find out the EMF developed the EMF developed equal E2 equal slip times of E2R E2 naught so here minus 0 0.5 the E2 naught is the you know the 100 that is that is we will get the minus 50 volts the voltage developed is the minus 50 volts so here the developed volts is a minus 50 volts what is this minus 50 volts generally this the minus representation good so whenever the slip is negative whenever the slip is negative that induction motor induction machine will be become the induction generator the motor will be acts as a generator so it will generate the emf it will generate the emf and we can find out the frequencies also here what is the rotor frequency the frequency developed of the rotor slip times of frequency what is slip times 2 what is the supply frequency 50 then the rotor frequency will become the 100 h 100 h here also what is the rotor frequency the rotor frequency equal to slip times of frequency so apart from the negative it is the frequency 0.5 into 50 then the rotor frequency we can write it as the 25 hz we can write it as the 25 hz okay so this is a some of the different problem it will be very very useful to analyze about the voltage developed at the slip rings voltage developed at the slip rings as well as it will give the information regarding the negative slip whenever the negative slip is there automatically that induction machine will be act as a induction generator okay so i hope all of you understand the session thank you